Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, as you can see, I got some Reefs RC product here. I went to uh, JJ Customs, grand opening, and I had to buy something from them. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Reef himself was there. So I uh, decided to get me uh, a servo uh, triple four. I'll install that today. There's a, a butte. It's a nice servo. He said it was a good one. I talked to him and uh, I said that's a good one. I, wa I wanted the 500, but uh, they were out of them. And they were pretty far back ordered, he said. So I got this from uh, JJ and then um, some servo washers red to match the body and then a servo horn since it's, this is the uh, element and thorough you need the short the shorter horn so you don't want the long horn that was uh when i was talking to reef he said to make sure i got that for this truck because of of that so and then he was giving out lanyards for the uh for the controllers to put around your neck. So I thought that was pretty cool. They were giving those out. To... But yeah, he's a, he's a good guy, Reef is, so good product. So we're gonna install that today. So uh, let's uh, get started on this. Uh, back you out, there you go. Sorry about the noise, I got a battery charging. take my slash and run it around out front so right now I just have the 35 kg from um, Amazon on there we should be able to reach uh, everything down here so let's, uh, let's get this started Help with the light a little bit. So let's bring you in. We'll take off this mount right here, which was already loose. Which uh, shame on me. That thing was super loose. Spacer in between there. You see that? Mm -hmm. That was supposed to be set up stock, so push that horn to the side. Make sure I see what's going on here. Okay, I just have a washer. I think I'm gonna have to find some. Some screws for this. Since I got the washers, those screws aren't gonna fit in there. There's two more screws right back in here. There's two screws here and here. If I recall, this was a Tough one to get in and out. Okay. Let's see how we're going to do this now. I'm supposed to just slide right on through, but yeah, we're going to have to get rid of the pan hard mount too here. Let's 
So I'm gonna take this one off right here. And it should, should, um, no, I'm gonna take this one off. Get rid of this body. I'm going to take this one off so it'll slide up out of the way. This one will slide this way and it should pop right out of there. Voila. Okay. It does. It falls right out of there, guys. So I'm going to take these out. Hopefully, this servo was a long. Man, that was a super long servo horn or wire. I don't know if this is going to reach or not. No. Oh yeah, I just have it wrapped around pretty good. So this is where I put my radio box, my receiver box. Which I am looking for a smaller one. I don't need this big of a box. Yeah, he was a, uh, Reef's a nice guy. He's uh, he helped me out there a little bit. Talked to him for a few minutes. So, if you guys ever get a chance to meet him, he's a cool dude. So, let's see, let me get my cutters. focus here yeah <laughs> so it's gonna be the it's, uh, both red and white but so I have a light I have my lights in the bottom here what is it it's one to turn two to burn I just velcro my radios in because these uh not that I need it on this one but to bind. And you gotta take watch out for the gasket when you guys do this. <clears throat> Little filler. Piece of rubber. Just for a, a third wire or fourth wire. And it just fills in the hole so it doesn't leak. Um, try to keep. I don't want to cut the wire. Okay. So if you cut the head of them, usually just cut breaks them in half. So you don't cut the wire. It looks like we got one more here. else that I need? No. Okay. Huh. So. I'm 
hoping I don't have to take that off of there. Let's see. Eventually, I think I'm going to cut all this stuff up a little bit so it's a little smaller, it makes it a little lighter. But right now, I'm just. Uh, I should have cut the holes. The Velcro is for my battery, for my small battery when I want to use my small one. I just Velcro it in there and then put one Velcro around it and it won't slide anywhere. Alright. Here's the, the servo. This is uh these are good servos, so it'll be good for uh, the basher. screw on the front. Let's get all sorts of pieces inside. It comes with stickers. And then it comes with a whole set of different different arms, different um, servo horns. This side. Right. Servo. You saw C. Nah, it's gonna be a close one. Not have to put an extension in there, guys. I got that thing all the way back there. Let's see. Let's see. Um, my screws out. Should have had all this stuff ready for you guys, but I think they will. And those aren't too long. Yeah, they look like they'll actually fit pretty good. Because of these washers, you guys have never seen these. So actually pretty good, cool washers. They, um, Got the little lip that goes inside. Inside the hole of the servo. So it holds it in there and then it doesn't mess your servo up, he said. So he recommended these, which are I think they're kind of cool. You give it a little bling to it at the same time, right? Color. You don't have to use them for the servos. So, another one of these on the other side. Make sure it's lined up.
you get eight of them in there. It's not bad, I guess. That's two, two, if you wanted to put the, I think that's some nice winch servos. That you can get. Quite got into that. I think it actually looked good on the truck, but once I've uh, got these in there, I will pull it up so you guys can see. There you go. That's a little red. You like washers that sink in there. Put the two in there. Two on that side. They look good. I like the way they look. Okay. Wish this would have been on the other side, but I can't have it. Yeah, I'm just not going to fit. Let me try to find um I think I might have one in here. There we go. I don't like using these if I can help it, but can't help it. <laughs> so let's put this in. And then before we get everything all crazy hooked up. So grab a battery. Controller. I'm a little off here today, guys. I should have all this stuff hooked up. So I just put a battery in my six channel air. Just now I can uh, put my lanyard on this one so I can carry it around when I'm crawling. Turn this on. That's it. No. Um, model Enter. Enduro Enter. That's it. Alright, so let's hook the setup on Enduro. I'm just going to put this in here for now. Just because we want to get the steering. Centered, and that's it. I'm gonna grab onto the truck so it don't take off just in case. Ooh, my light's working. <laughs> don't want to do that trigger. Okay, yeah, look at that. Take, look at that, taking out all the light. I might need a BEC. I will go in there and check the program, but I think I already have it at 7.4 volts. So, all right, centered, shut it off, shut the controller off. All right, so then I'm just gonna uh, button everything up. I'm gonna route it through. Zip tie it all back up, and then uh, once I get it all done back together, I will uh, 
show you guys. I'm just gonna wire it back out of there and zip tie it all back up. So you guys don't have to sit there and stare at me do that. <laughs> all right. So uh, all right, I'll be back in a few. All right, so we're back. I got it all wired up. Get it all nice and neat. I'm sure you guys didn't want to see that. I got this bolted back down. Um, and I also, when I did my controller, I went through and I centered it. Um, and I also took the endpoints back to 100%. Um, <clears throat> so we're centered on the servo already. So we're just flipping it over. And I went, oh, I need to put you guys back on. <laughs> so I was going to pull out the servo horn. Which gives you a sticker for this too. Nice of him. Got all sorts of stickers now. Because he did give me a couple packs of stickers too. So this is a locking on both sides. This is a clamp clamp. And this is a good... So you got you got a clamp on you got a screw that goes on this side you got a screw that goes on this side and then your horn goes inside there right so let's um get these little screws in first get a little lock tight A small one sorry for the reach but, okay so I'm just gonna get them started in here uh, that was way too much I'm gonna get this one started in here like so like so and we're gonna get this one started on the other side a little dab this time not the whole thing like so okay then we're gonna put this dead center Um, it goes this way. Duh. Make sure you get that dead center. There it goes. Okay. And now we can spin that a little bit. I'm going to clamp the front down a little bit. Clamp the back down a little bit. And then we're going to take, we're going to take the screw that was in it because it was in the servo already, just to be on the safe side, which they look like the same screws, just one might be just a tad bit longer. Get a little bit of Loctite on this one, okay. Now this is going to be the tricky part. And I'm going to get my ball. This is a ball tip. It's a good thing to have around so you can get in there and, oops, get in there and get them ones leaning a little bit. Slipping out of my fingers, and I 
I'll put it back in this thing. That's the thing about the ball tip there. Stay on there, but you can go in at an angle with the ball tip. Okay, let's um, Okay, there's that one. Let's take these ones. Tighten it up real good. Tighten that one up real good. Okay. And I am, man, this, this servos are so quiet. I'm going to turn this on and get it, make sure it's straight still before I hook everything back up. Oops, I guess it helps to have power, huh? Let's turn this over so you guys can see. That line off. I mean, look, that thing is so quiet. It just almost touches that panel right there. Gonna have some torque. It's pretty good torque. 444 pounds of torque. So, and that's on 7.4 but you can see it's dimming the light so we might have to run a BEC I don't think we'll have any issues though it's just a little light the hooks were down okay so let's flip this over now that we got that right this is a spare um, this one right here, I think we want to go as straight as possible, right? So if we went with this one and this one, we need to go a smaller screw. I'm going to see before I lock tight up. through get a shorter screw shorter screw shorter screw let's see we want to go Want to stay with black? That would probably be perfect. I'm going to try to get it in this first one just to see if that's a little better lined up or not. The second one looked like it was pretty good, but. Hmm. 
Yeah, that doesn't come through, so we're good there. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it on that far one. It'll give you a better throw, I think, huh? Let's put it inside and see what it does there. Outside one gives you a longer throw though. <laughs> this one's gonna be a test. Let's put this pan hard back on there and see. Yeah, let's do that first. I can't get to it now. I hope you can kind of see what I'm doing. Just putting the pan hard back in. It's just dark over here. I'm working with a black screw and the black plastic. So. And I am colorblind. How about that? Trivia for you. <laughs> a little personal tidbit. I'm colorblind, so it's hard to see. Sometimes uh, the shades, I can see colors. I just can't see the difference between some colors. And like the, the black plastic and that hole where the screw goes in, it all looked the same because it's just a shadow, you know? Okay. Let's... Um, Walk tight this bad boy because the last one was loose. Go through this. Loctite stuff, guys. Leave it. Leave it for a day before you go out and play with it. <laughs> Leave it for a day. Okay. That looks like my GPS is done. So let's um, take that other strap out, but we'll just leave this one in here for now. See. And then I have a real small 3S to stick in there. Let's get rid of this before I drop it. And I don't have screws all over the place. I don't have screws all over the place. Okay, let's turn it on. Turn this on. Turn this on. Oh, look at that bad boy. Um, Mm. 
Nice. This is what I wanted. I might when I I almost bought the four for four, but when I built this kit, but it had put me over the budget, so that's why I went with the. You know what is this? It's, these on Amazon are. I think it's a dollar a kilo, pretty much, or a kilogram. So, so 35 kg was 35 bucks, pretty much. So you can buy a 20 for 20 bucks, 25 for 25 bucks. So that's what I did to fill in the spot. And so, thanks to the wife, which I love her very much, she gave me some money when I went to JJ's, and I got the reefs that I wanted to put in there. So. It's just got tons of power. So, awesome, there you go guys. Let's get a little down here. Cover up that light so it doesn't blind you. Look at that bad boy, <laughs> just throwing them tires around. <laughs> I'll probably have to set the endpoints a little bit. Everyone says not to, but I probably will a little bit. Just so I don't break nothing. I think that thing will just uh, break whatever it wants to. Get so much torque. And I already have that set at 7.4. I know it, because otherwise I wouldn't be doing that. It'd be going a lot slower. Because I had this one. This one was is uh, 7.4 capable. So I turned this one up. All right. So there you guys go. Got my uh, got my crawler back in. I think I'm gonna put some. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna do something to lower it down a little bit. I think I might get some lower links, some links that the links that cut up. That give me a little bit more ground clearance. Um, go test her out. She's a beaut. I was thinking about selling it, but not no more. Now that I got that put in it, it's a game changer, as they say. It's like the game changer fans, right? <laughs> Go get yourself a game changer fan. So, uh, Bruce RC, JJ Customs. Go check them out, guys. They've got some good stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and, uh, Y'all have a good day.